If you enjoy this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. Hey, you! Hey look, we're outside today. So there are a lot of laws out there that we might not 100% agree with, and some that just don't really make any sense. But then there are some that are just downright stupid. So today we're gonna be counting down the 10 dumbest laws, at least in the United States. Number 10, in Indiana, you can get out of paying for your child's health care by praying for them. No sh I don't even care if you judge, I'm gonna use my computer to read this one off to you. A person who knowingly or intentionally fails to provide support to the person's dependent child commits a class D felony. However, it is a defense that the accused person in the legitimate practice of his religious belief provided treatment by spiritual means through prayer in lieu of medical care to his dependent child. Yeah. You know, I really don't think this one would hold up in court at all, especially today. No, I don't think so. So right now I'm living in the beautiful state of Kentucky as you can see behind me and uh, they got a pretty weird law themselves. You cannot sell a dyed chick or duckling unless you sell them in groups of six. And this isn't one of those internet laws. I have all the actual written laws here and I'm gonna read it off to you. So here's what it says. No person shall sell living baby chicks, ducklings or other fowl or rabbits which have been dyed or colored in any quantity less than six. It also says that you can sell a dyed baby rabbit as long as it is over three pounds or six weeks old. So I guess just a word of advice, if you want to open a dyed duckling factory in the state of Kentucky, better get ready to sell them in six packs. Now would you believe me if I told you it was illegal to flirt in the state of Michigan? Well, you should. And this one's short enough, I don't even have to read it off my computer. Any man who shall seduce or debauch an unmarried woman shall be guilty of a felony. A felony for seducing an unmarried woman. Now, I really think it would be a bigger deal to seduce a married woman, but uh, that's just me, apparently. Now we're gonna talk about my home state, Minnesota. If you ever feel like visiting there, you better have a damn good reason to be wherever you go because it is illegal for you to stand around a building without a good reason for being there. I'm not gonna read this one off to you, but there will be links down below so you can check them all out. This one pretty much says that you are a vagrant if you uh, don't have a job and you're capable of having one, and if you stand around a building without any reason for being there. And it's a misdemeanor, so don't do that in Minnesota. What I think Minnesota is trying to say is get a job, you lazy kid, and quit standing around buildings smoking your cigarettes and playing with your yo-yos. Damn, kids. Number six, so these next two are from the state of Virginia. The first one says that you cannot have sex if you are not married. This one may seem like it's going way back to the ye olde days, but it was created in the 1950s and was, you know, reasserted in the 1970s, so it's not that old. Basically what the law says is if you have sex and you're not married, you're guilty of fornication, and that's, uh, I guess a problem. So that one's pretty rough, but the next one is even weirder. Number five, in the state of Virginia, anal sex is illegal especially with your family. Yep, you heard that right. This one's considered a crime against nature, and I'm actually gonna have to read it off my trusty laptop for you. I'm going to read this in a very oldie voice. If any person cornerly knows in any manner any brute animal or any male or female person by the anus or by or with the mouth is guilty of a class six felony, any person who does this with his daughter or granddaughter, son or grandson, brother or sister, or father or mother shall be guilty of a class five felony. And then it says that if a grandparent does this with a grandchild, it's a class three felony. So it's a big time no-no in the state of Virginia. Now I find it funny that the state called Virginia seems to take its namesake a little too seriously with these sex laws. Number four, keeping with these sex laws, we are going to move to the great state of Florida. Basically all Florida says is it is illegal to commit unnatural acts with another person. All the law really says is that a person who commits unnatural or lascivious acts with another is guilty of a second degree misdemeanor. That's it, that's all it says. So defining unnatural, I guess, is left up to the police and the judge. But the law does have at the very end a part that says, a mother's breastfeeding of her child can never be considered under this section. And I don't really know how breastfeeding can ever be considered unnatural. But I mean, it's Florida, so I'll just let them keep being weird. Number three, idiots cannot vote in New Mexico. And if you don't believe me, it's written into their constitution. Seriously, what the constitution says is that any resident of the United States who has lived in New Mexico for 12 months has a right to vote, unless they are an idiot, insane, or a felon. So yeah. No stupid people. But before you go all off on your high horse saying, I'm an American, I can vote, doesn't matter how stupid I am, I can vote if I want to. Calm down, calm down. You need to think back to when this law was written. So back in 1911, when New Mexico became a state, 
The word idiot was not really used as an insult as it is today. What it meant is a person with an IQ below 30, and that is really, really low. So basically someone who is mentally disabled. They were just trying to protect their state from having a mentally disabled person vote in their elections. However, it is a little weird that we then had one run for president and win twice. Number two, a person with a venereal disease cannot get married in Nebraska. Damn, they don't f around in Nebraska. It straight up says, no person with a venereal disease shall be married in this state. Wow. Now this law was created around 100 years ago, so maybe forgive them a little bit, but even in the 70s, they just, they didn't change it when they had the opportunity. So I guess if you have gonorrhea, don't try to get married in Nebraska. Damn it. Just kidding, I'll never set foot in Nebraska. Nebraska sucks. And finally, number one, we're back to Florida with the dumbest law that I found on the internet. This is another one that was written into their constitution and it is about pigs. Can you guess what it is about with pigs? I bet you can't. So what this law says is, it is illegal to confine a pregnant pig in a cage. And that's in their constitution, I'm not kidding. Shall I read it for you in a funny voice? No person shall confine a pig during pregnancy in a cage, crate, or other enclosure, or tether a pregnant pig on a farm so that the pig is prevented from turning around freely, except for veterinary purposes during the pre-birthing period. Seriously, that's in their freaking constitution. Now I'm all for humane treatment of animals, but to have something so specific in their constitution it really makes me wonder what was going on with pregnant pigs back in the day. But oh well, the pigs are safe, and I can rest easy at night. I'm just a boy. You have yourself a fine day.